try my hand at this review and stuff thing. <clears throat> I'm gonna swap out my stock factory base camp servo for this NSDRC 500B. We're gonna try it out. We'll do a little video of the, the original stock servo driving around some rocks down here I got in my basement. I'm gonna swap it out to this new one. And, uh, we'll see if I can do a little bit of a comparison. So some of y'all can have a reference if y'all decide to get a new servo or get this one right here. This is direct power. Um, y'all can look up the specs on the website. I believe it was around $64, $65. Fairly, uh, fairly reasonably priced for a direct power servo from a good reputable manufacturer. <coughs> so let's see, uh, see how this goes. All right, here's the stock servo. Uh, not fast at all. Not very responsive. And for some reason, I don't know if all of them are like this, but just kind of a kind of a dead spot. You can turn the wheels just a little bit before the servo catches. It's kind of weird. I don't know if it was like that from when I bought it or if that's just been a development. I'm not sure. I think it's, I don't think it was that way when I bought it, <clears throat> but it could have been and I just didn't notice it. All right, well, I'm gonna put the body on and take it to the rocks over here in the basement. I got set up and drive around for a second and then uh, we'll swap it out. All right, here we are at my basement rock pile. Just for testing purposes. And uh, I'm gonna run this thing around this little rock pile and let y'all see the performance of the stock servo compared to the one I'm about to swap it out to. I like spots like this. It'll still move the truck, but not very powerful, especially not, not what I'm used to with my comp rig I got. I guess this stock server really ain't horrible, but want a little something more It's slow. There's no. You get in a spot where you need to ship me that servo to kind of get you working around something. And you ain't doing it this one. Or this one. All right. I don't know if that showed you what you was looking, what, what to see, but uh, I'm about to go in there and swap this puppy out. And we'll uh, come back and try this again. I think I found a spot where we'll bind up. I don't know about. I don't know how the other one's gonna do, but I'll bring it back to this same spot and we'll try it. Alright, so I found my first 
pick up in this swap out process. This is the stock servo, 23 tooth horn and spline. This new one is a 25 tooth. Uh, so thankfully I had this little cheap Chinese piece of junk that I'm gonna use temporarily. Just ordered a, a axial 25 tooth horn. It'll be here in a couple days and I'll put that on here later, but this will work. This will work for now. But yeah, <clears throat> if you end up getting this, make sure you get a horn to go with it. 25 tooth. All right, <clears throat> so far, I've had to dremel out this piece, this plastic piece right here because this servo is shaped differently, shaped differently on the edge, so it wasn't sitting flush on these <clears throat> mounts right here. So I had to go in and get my dremel tool and dremel out a little bit of this plastic right in here <clears throat> to get it to sit down in there flush. So it's not a just plug and play uh, servo on this 10-3 uh, base camp. You gotta do a little rigging. All right, she's in. Took a little persuasion, but got it in there. And Got it wired in. Wires are a little short, but I was able to make it work. And uh, this is what we got. A lot faster, a lot stronger, a lot more responsive. All right, let's get it on the rocks. See what we what we got. Huge difference. Speed, power. Sorry about the video. I'm not used to driving one-handed. I'm gonna have to get some kind of mount if I'm gonna keep making these videos. So I can drive with two hands. binding Let me get up this hill here and get in that really crappy spot I had it in before see if I Struggling at all. 
Well, I'm impressed. Uh, I got it back in that spot. I was binding with the uh, stock servo. You know, see, it's still, <coughs> it's still gonna bind. That's a, that's a heavy. That's a lot of weight on that servo to try to move, but it's doing better than the stock servo did, I think. In many regards. Now this is only initial review, but we'll see how it goes. I'll be doing some more videos with this truck. And uh, I might enter it into the comp at the boneyard here in the next week or two just for the fun of it see how it does all right y'all thanks for watching